Hi guys, welcome to Talent Sprint. I'm Rohit Agarwal. In this session today, we are going to look at the best method to calculate compound interest. Which means, at the end of this video, you will see yourself solving questions based on compound interest like a pro. So let's understand how do we do this with the help of an example. Let's say the principal amount given is 12,000. The rate of interest is 10 percentage per annum and the time period is 2 years and we are required to find the compound interest right so the principal rate of interest and the time period is given and we need to find out or calculate the compound interest of these three values given here now the regular way or the conventional method of calculating compound interest is to go by the formula which is p into 1 plus r by 100 whole raised to the power of t minus p right so this is how we can find out the compound interest using the formula but then as you all uh, must be aware this is a little complex right uh, the calculation here is a little tedious and we end up wasting a lot of time when we go by the formula here so let's look at an alternate method which serves to be the best way of doing calculations related to compound interest now what we are going to do here is use the concept of effective percentage right effective percentage is a very important application which can be useful for solving not just compound interest based questions but many other questions from aptitude right effective percentage is given as a plus b plus a b by 100 right where a and b are two different percentages right a plus b plus a b by 100 is the effective percentage for two given percentages now what are a and b in our case a is the rate of interest in the first year right a denotes the rate of interest for the first year and b denotes the rate of interest for the second year now in the given question the time period is 2 years and the rate of interest is 10 percentage per annum which means the rate of interest here is fixed for the first year it is 10 percent and second year as well it is 10 percent which means a and b both are equal to 10 percent in the given case. So all we need to do here is substitute the values of a and b get the effective percentage which is equal to the compound interest. So we can say the compound interest here is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 10 into 10 by 100 which is 20 plus 1 21 percentage right so we can say the total compound interest for the given case that is 10 percentage per annum for two years is going to be 21 percent 21 percent of what the principal amount right remember interest calculations are always based on the principal amount so we can say the final answer here is 21 percent of 12,000 rupees right what is 21 percent of 12,000 rupees it is going to be 2520 rupees Likewise, let's say uh, the given rate of interest is uh, 14 percentage per annum, right? Then how do you do it? A is equal to 14 and B also is 14 because time period is 2 years and the rate of interest is fixed at 14 percentage per annum. So for the first year 14 percent and second year also it is 14 percent. So what do we do? 14 plus 14 plus 14 into 14 by 100. Now this again is a mental calculation, right? You need not put pen on paper to get the uh, compound interest in terms of percentage. 14 plus 14 is 28. 14 into 14 by 100 that is 196 by 100 is 1.96 28 plus 1.96 is 29.96 so we can say in this case the compound interest will be equal to 29.96 percentage which can be approximately taken as 30 percentage 30 percentage of 12,000 right as you all are aware most of the times in competitive exams we can do an approximate calculation to arrive at the uh, correct answer option there. So instead of taking 29.96% just take it as 30 percentage. 30 percentage of 12,000 that is 3,600. So this is how we can calculate questions based on compound interest using the effective percentage concept. Few important points to be noted here are that in case the rate of interest is different for different years then we just need to substitute the values accordingly. For example let's say the rate of interest is 10 percentage for the first year and 12 percentage for the second year. So how do we calculate the compound interest? A is 10 and B is 12. So 10 plus 12 plus 10 into 12 by 100. 10 plus 12 is 22. 10 into 12 by 100 is 1.2. 22 plus 1.2, 23.2%. 23.2% of 12,000. So this is how we can simply use effective percentage for solving questions based on compound interest. Now the other point to be noted here is how do we do the calculations when the time period is given as 3 years right in this case or in all the examples that we have discussed so far the time period was just 2 years but how do we do it when the given time period is 3 years. Now there is no different formula to get the answer here the same formula that is a plus b plus ab by 100 has to be used twice. Let us understand with the help of an example 
time period is three years and let's say the rate of interest is you know 20 percentage per annum what do we do if you look at it we have got three 20 percentages here 20 percentage for the first year 20 percentage for the second year and once again 20 percentage for the third year let us first apply effective percentage for the first two years 20 plus 20 plus 20 into 20 by 100 that gives us 44 percentage now to this 44 percentage and the left out 20 percentage that is the rate of interest for third year we should apply effective percentage once again so 44 plus 20 plus 44 into 20 by 100 right so that gives us the final and the total compound interest for all the three years so answer here will be 44 plus 20 plus 44 into 20 by 100 so 44 plus 20 is 64 and this is going to be 8.8 .8. so we can say 72.8 is the total compound interest when the rate of interest is 20 percentage per annum and the time period is 3 years so 72.8% of the principal will give us the final answer.